What's up guys, Alex here. We got a interesting news situation to happen today. Um, now keep in mind, I work during the day, so if I do make videos, guys, it's going to be towards the, about around this time or later on the weekends, who knows, but uh, unlike most people that, uh, you know, record and make videos on YouTube, uh, I have a job, so apologies uh, for having a job, <laughs> but um, yeah, let's talk about uh, this. Microsoft Activision deal prevented $69 billion. You guys remember this, right? Microsoft wants to acquire Activision for $69 billion. However, the, I don't know the very specifics, guys, about why this was denied. I just know something in the UK denied the deal going through. This isn't really, well, I guess this is this is important, right? Because you want to know why the deal didn't go through. But on this channel, at least, I want to talk about the things that matter. And what matters is talking about, is this good? Is this bad? Is it good that Microsoft owns Activision? So it's bad for Microsoft that this, this isn't happening because now they don't have access to these games, these IPs. In my opinion, it's very good for people who play video games because, guys, it's not a very good thing in the world where a company like Microsoft runs a monopoly on all of these games. Um, it's a good thing for to have choice. It's a good thing to... It's not a good thing for everything to be under one roof, I guess, in a way. That's capitalistic, capitalistic nature. Let's see what's going on here. Um, but a lot of people, you know, well, also, why does Microsoft want Activision? Why is Microsoft trying to obtain all of these companies? Well, number one, because Microsoft wants to make money. Number two, Microsoft has little to zero, um, innovation. They, they don't know how to make good games anymore, right? We talked about in a previous video lately, Microsoft doesn't have any brain power anymore any good teams going on any good game releases they have no good new um they, they just have nothing going on they have no exclusives so they're trying to use their money to gain more games and you know so they're trying to do it with activision so a lot of people I'm reading online, a lot of copium going on that, oh, well, you know, maybe if games under Activision like World of Warcraft or Diablo or Overwatch or any of those games, Call of Duty, maybe they'll go under Microsoft and they'll get better. My friends, have these people been living under a rock? Microsoft doesn't know how to make good video games anymore. Look at Halo. And it's a great example. Halo. They can't even do Halo right. The game that put Xbox on the map. I mean, we think of Halo, uh, Xbox, you think of Halo. It's their flagship title. They can't get Halo right. And you, and you want, at the end of the day, you want them to fix the games under Activision? That's not happening. So one person might say, hey, it can't get any worse, right? If Activision can't do these things right, it can't get any worse under Microsoft. Might as well throw them the meat. I mean, yeah, I can kind of see that. But at the end of the day, not much is going to change here, guys, even if this deal did go through. Me personally, I don't give a shit what happens with this company at this point. Either company. Both, co if you guys, anybody listening to this that has any common sense, you guys know that both of these companies, Microsoft and Activision, they're both trash. They're both garbage. They both don't know how to make video games. They're both bad. Play old games instead. Play indie games. Buy Hollow Knight Silk Song. Play games that are good, that are going to come out. Play some classic games. Don't worry so much about what these two companies are doing. Because at the end of the day, they're both dog shit. Alright? But, to sum this up, guys, this deal... Because, you know, the thing about making a video after the news comes out... makes me think about if I want to talk about this. I do briefly because... 
this is good for gamers. This is good for the future because it's not good for all of these games to go under one roof. It's good to let it breathe. Good for choice. Good for us to pick and decide what games we want to play. Could you imagine if every single game was under Microsoft? My God. What if Microsoft is dog shit? Oh, wait, it is. So at the end of the day, nothing would change even if a game like World of Warcraft or Diablo went to Microsoft instead of Activision. Not much is going to change. Um, a lot of it is political. A lot of this stuff is a cancer. It's kind of too late. So just my two cents. Let me know, guys, down below what you guys think about this. Me personally, like, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Uh, like I said, in my opinion, uh, nothing would, would change anyway, even if this deal went through. Um, it's basically just men in suits trying to make more money at the end of the day. That's all it is. Thanks, guys. See you guys later. I think I have another video coming, too. Stay tuned. So, yeah.